I'm too fucking fat for this shit. I'm too fat for this shit. What's cracking, guys? How you guys doing today? Man, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, when I was reviewing the outlaw dip. We're standing right here in this spot with the old bourbon, right? I was like, listen, mother trackers, you guys need to guess what the tits is on the back of this guy. Bit, bro, up. Gosh dang it, man. Not yet. We gotta freaking hype it up, dude. You'll learn. You'll freaking learn. All right, so I asked you guys in the comments to guess what the tits is on the back of the gosh dang bourbon, all right? You guys left your guesses. You guys left everything. And today is the video where I'm going to tell y'all what the tits is back there. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. What the? The hell? It's the freaking dick, dude. Somebody stole my boat. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Got my boat right here. What's cracking? What do you guys think of it, man? It's my um, my new boat. It's a freaking um, it's a, it's a, a time cutter. Cut some time right off, man. Best boat in the market. I'm just. Do the dip dance. Do the dip dance. Do the dip dance. Do the dip dance. You gotta do this little hip. It's not the hip dance. It's the dip dance. I think I might have to age restrict this whole video. I apologize to all the children out there for that very conspicuous dance. That's the one. No, but for real. Oh, we legit got a gosh dang boat, mother juice trip yeah. over. Yeah. You son of a dick, man. What the hell you doing? What the hell you doing? You trying to suck my wing? What the dick? What are you doing, Lena? What are you doing? Oh, you crazy but The Border Patrol's here. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing a boat tour. Yes, I've officially bought a gosh dang boat. I'm here to make a video and tour the sun bitch for you. All right, well, I don't really know how to explain this, but uh, it's so gosh dang purdy. I just want to show it to y'all in the right way. So, uh, Mother truckers, come right in, come right in. This is my brand spanking new, or excuse me, my brand new spanking 2018 Tracker Grizzly, Grizzly by Tracker, whatever the tits you want to call it. This is the 1860 center console sportsman, obviously. Does it look like I'm floating right now? <laughs> Flying, my, these are wings. Hey bird. It's kind of just my hero right there. Yeah. Fly like a sparrow in my backyard today. Fuck, I'm stupid. Okay, enough of the BS, mother trackers. Let's go ahead and tour this son of a dick. So yeah, it's the 1860. So uh, the biggest version they got is a 2072. It's a little bit smaller. This holds a maximum capacity of four people or 575 pounds. I think it's 575 or five, yeah, 575. You know, can fit the buddies on here, all that kind of crap. You know what, bro, law? Why don't you freaking hop up in this son bitch? Actually, let's just start on the back and then you can hop in. This is the Mercury Four Stroke 40 right here. This boat's actually rated up to 90 horsepower, which actually, I, I haven't seen a boat with a 40 on it. This is actually, so this is weird, man. I went to the first boat dealer. They had this same exact boat with the 90 on it and they, they wouldn't freaking sell it to me, dude. They were just like, well, you know, if you buy it, 
it's going to take us about two months to get it to you because we got to get it ready and we got a lot of people in front of you and i was like well what if i pay you cash can you just get it ready all you got to do is run the freaking motor make sure everything's good and put the pads on and crap like and they were like no no we're just gonna freaking it'll take two months so what i ended up doing is found another dealer on the border of nebraska in nebraska i drove up to nebraska two days ago got some bitch took it home same freaking day not a pain in the ass whatsoever but this one has a 40 on it which is you know fine i mean the 90 would be nice if i'm on like bigger lakes and shit and i'm trying to make some time up like the time cutter over there the greatest boat that's ever lived uh, but the 40 will do just for now that's for shizzle so we got these nice steps on the back too bad they're freaking camo you can't even see them kind of little a little freaking bit of it a little little, little freaking little little, 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 little oxy oxy a little, little freaking oxymoron there welcome aboard mateys my name's outlaw be your captain for today I gotta put the gosh dang uh, seats up in this bitch, but we got a nice little uh, camo seat here. Oh yeah, how about that boy? How about that boy? Okay, let's start from the back. So, your back deck here, obviously, got your batteries and all your good fuel lines and everything like that back here. Boat plugs in there. Don't worry, never forget your gosh dang butt plug. Bo boat, boat plug, got bo boat plug, I meant boat plug. Sorry about the freaking wind, dude. Got another spot for one of them seats that's up there. Them camo seats up in the front. You can put one back here, obviously. I don't know why I didn't come with a third one. Maybe it did and they just forgot to throw it in. Maybe I got to call them about that. Those sons of dicks. Got a nice uh, camo seat here. Everybody can sit back here, especially when it's raining. Everybody wants to be back past the windshield. Everybody just cuddle right in, man. Just cuddle right in. Like I said, this is a center console. Back here, we got our yellow freaking generator. This is to run the lights and everything in the front. It does have a bow fishing deck on it. There's also, you can take the sun bitch off. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but this is the generator. Gas fill up here. Center console. Got your nice freaking handle, windshield. Come around here, you got your cup holder. You got your freaking, this is hydraulic steering, so you got your hydraulic uh, fluid fill up right there. Gosh dang, steering wheel moves if you need it to. Move all the way up here. Just ding, 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 dong, ding, 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 dong, ding, dong, ding. Throttle reverse. Got your dry, 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 your, you know, dry stuff. More storage down here. Ignition, aerator for the live well, your nav light, your anchor light, your bilge, little horn. <laughs> you son of a. I hate you. Can't stand when you can't subscribe to my gosh dang YouTube channel. You better subscribe now, or I'm gonna kill you. I apologize for that. Fuel gauge, RPMs. You got a little 12 volt here so you can charge your phone or whatever the tits we want to put in there. No fish finder or anything right now. Maybe do one down the road. And then you come around the side, you get your rod holders. You got three on that side, three on this side. Throw your rods in there, everything's good to go. You got a little hookup here for whatever you want to strap down. I'm going to put my cooler right here so we can put drinks and everything like that. Grizzly. Hey, I'm dipping that sound bitch right now. <laughs> we got interior lights on the uh the boat here got a couple right there i'm thinking too I, I haven't taken it out yet so when i go out at night you know we got the lights on the front and we got these lights in here but i want to see if like if maybe i can run some colorful leds or something underneath here underneath that rail and maybe light it up even more in here look cool on video or something like that oh banjo just spin on you apologize apologize okay this is our main storage unit right here hot 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 got a lot of freaking room put life jackets in there all that kind of crap it does have a drain it also has an interior light it turns on somewhere it switches in there so that's your main storage and then your live wells right here cool little live well then you can see the trolling motor right there and then there's another seat freaking spot right there if you want to you know build dance it or something and sit down and fish which i'm definitely not down for that you know my idea for seats is if you want to sit down and fish, you probably sit down to pee. <laughs> you probably sit down to pee. You probably do. Let's go up to the freaking bow deck, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on. Come on, one and all. So I'll just put the seats up here so you guys can see. But uh, pretty gosh dang cool. Big deck, fit two or three people up here. You got this unit that comes off here. Trolling motor controls here. It's a Minn Kota trolling motor. Obviously another seat spot right there. Right here behind us, where you got some spots for your arrows. You can put some hooks in here for your to hang your bows, cup holders, and then down right here, we can trim the motor up and down. Port and starboard lights for the outside when you're bow fishing, and then you got a courtesy light here to light this crap up. So pretty cool, man. Then you can just sit up here. Bah, 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 blast some freaking carp. All right, let's run down on the outside of the boat and show y'all these lights. Yeah, baby, just light it up call me luke bryan in my other life so like i said this deck does come off you know if it's cold or something and we're not bow fishing and we just want to go out and fish we can take this off these freaking straps here the straps come off and you can just lift the sun bitch right off pretty gosh dang cool 
We've got the bow fishing lights all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights. So we are good to go on seeing them gosh dang fish at night, baby. Like I said, Minn Kota power drive trolling motor. Freaking little wimpy trailer that they freaking say is like $1,400. What? It's a little dinky trailer. Fat boy weighs more than this gosh dang trailer. You got your running lights and everything like that, man. That's pretty much it, dude. This isn't all welded boat there's no it's not riveted or anything like that so pretty gosh dang cool hopefully no freaking leaks or anything we're good to go i think the camo looks freaking good that's why i wanted to get it there was a bunch of tan and green and all this other colors but i wanted the gosh dang camo that's why i drove all the way into freaking nebraska to get it but it was only a two-hour drive man oh like, yeah it's not, it's not too bad so yeah man hope y'all freaking dig it this is the new freaking tracker maybe you guys should name this son bitch in the comments below it's camo boat maybe some, i don't know dude i was thinking about calling it john cena but because it's a John boat because okay first okay so okay okay so all right okay um so John Cena the professional wrestler he always goes you can't see me so the the boat is camo so you can't see me and then it's a John boat like John and Cena and then we're going out on the sea so s-e-a no <laughs> John Cena <laughs> Open up your mind and let your conscience awaken. Go on an adventure till your body is shaking.